Hey, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, just wanted to show people out there in the public domain uh, there is a very quick way of generating data uh, for your Forex data and equity data and whatever else you want to track. Um, what you're looking at is from a third party vendor piece of software. Uh, it has generated a uh, set of files which I'll show you um, and uh, I want you to be convinced I teach people this in my premium membership uh, area just posted this now what I'd like to show you you could probably save yourself thousands and thousands of dollars um, the files I'm about to show you can take literally no more than two to three seconds to generate um, as well as um, there's a big one this one right here which I'll show you in a minute takes nine seconds so it's very very quick process so let's open up the first one um, this is Amazon uh, data uh, tick data I believe let me just uh, I'll be able to verify that in a minute once you look at the file um, just so you know you'll see all these stupid messages uh, from my Excel um, okay so what we're looking at is Amazon uh, it is tick data. Um, here's the timestamp. Today's date is the 21st of August, so it, it is a very fresh file. Um, here's the date, August 21st. Okay. Um, and what you're looking at right now is tick data, as I said. Uh, so I've generated the file to, to uh, generate my tick data from uh, yesterday. Uh, obviously it's got the volume, the bid, the ask, the tick data, the bid size, all that good stuff. And when we go to all the way to the end, um, it is today, August 21st. Uh, this file is about an hour old. Um, and uh, it's got 28,000 um, observations in the file. Now you can generate this tick file to go back as far as uh, the uh, data feed allows you, which is uh, using IQ feeds. My understanding could probably go back at least six months. If you want more, you need to go after the uh, DTN NX Core product, which is very expensive at $500 for the basic fee. Um, but this right here is part of the basic fee of $65 a month for my key feeds. Okay. So uh, again, this is Amazon's tick data for the last, let's say, 24 hours, 28,000 uh, data points. So that's good for a data series or time series for your uh, analytics. Uh, in R or MATLAB. So let's load up the next one. Now this is historical data. Um, so again, dumb messages by the Excel. If it's pissing you off, it's pissing me off. So right now it's loading up the file. That's uh, a fairly big one. Uh, again, we've shown you the date. Uh, August 21st, 2012. So we've gone far back. Let me repeat this, to April 27, 2007. As you will notice in the time, these are minute time bars, one minute time bars. That's the frequency. Usual open, high, close. Let's go all the way to the bottom. Okay, there you go. Today's date, minute data again. How many points? 615,000. So you can do some very serious um, back testing with this data. How much was that again? $65. This is as clean as you can get it. Okay. Now I know a lot of you are probably going, yeah, 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 it's all fine. Okay. But now we're going to get into Forex data. Um, this is really cool. With IQ feeds, I'm using the basic feeds. So I told you $65 a month for an extra 25 bucks a month. I get this access to this data provided from uh, FXCM. Um, so it's US dollar, Japanese yen, pair. This is tick, tick data, 482 uh, megs. Uh, let me open it up with um, Excel. Now, you will notice that it's going to bitch about it can't load the data because it's too big for Excel. Um, now, right now, just so everybody knows, that took nine seconds to generate that file from the uh, file or from the vendor that generates that. Now, I'll give you a hint if you're wanting to know who it is. Just do a search on a uh, product. It 
I show you how to do it within that software. Uh, but uh, sometimes, uh, if you want to do things for free, uh, you can t save your time by joining the membership. But again, this is all a teaser. Um, okay, so here's our message of uh, file not com loaded completely because it's too big. But again, let's check it out. This is tick data, folks. So we've got tick data all the way back to April 24th. Now remember, today is April, uh, August 21st. So I've got maybe six uh, months of data here. Forex data for um, US dollar, Japanese yen provided from FXCM. Okay, so we got a time. We got a time. Uh, the last uh, and the vid, bid. Total volume um, and all that good stuff. Let's go down all the way to the bottom. Remember, it's not all fully loaded in, or it's, that's what it's bitching about. Um, but it can only go up to 1 million and uh, 48,000, whatever, to, to, to May, that tick data, 2054, um, and all that data from before. So this is all your tick data. Now, uh, I haven't tested it yet to see if I can load this in R. Uh, I'll be posting that uh, maybe later today, sooner, I don't know. But um, it's all good right um, but the data is there uh, so that can be generated now if that's not enough let's look at the historical tick bar stuff um, okay so this is our historical data um, from FX from FXCM again and but that's coming through uh, the IQ feed as I told you I'm gonna open it up with uh, my Excel now this took about two seconds to generate that file um, using that software I told you about. So right now it's loading it. Now here's the date again, uh, 8-21-2012. This is not smoke and mirror stuff. Okay, so here we go. Uh, eight. Uh, this is last year of um, August 1st. Uh, minute time data again. Minute 1701-234. Uh, open, high, low, close, all that stuff, okay? So there's that all the way down to uh, over 765,000 data points. Let me just show you the date. So again, that's for today, just recently been generated. So what have I shown you? You can now generate your own Forex test data, very recent data too. And you can go back uh, a full year. It's it's very clean. Uh, there's no gaps. Why is there no gaps? Well, it's becoming, you know, I'm paying uh, sixty dollars plus uh, twenty five dollars. It's about ninety dollars a month for this feed um, to get access to it. So it's going to be very clean. It's not some junky uh, file source you get online, uh, and you can do some very serious back testing with it. So now you can generate it. Um, I've got videos to show you how to generate these files, but it doesn't stop there because now I can automate it in an automated ways and uh, do all kinds of crazy stuff with it. So um, you've you've seen you've seen how it works. Uh, so uh, if you want to join the membership, do it now um, because as we move forward, we will be increasing the rates. Um, very momentarily or very soon as well as I'll be doing a webinar on this live so if you got qu further questions on it uh, for my members I'll be doing that very soon so keep your eyes out peel and my complete calendar um, let me show you um, that info um, if you need to know where to go for the complete calendar it's simple. Go to Quant Labs blog and then come under here, complete calendar, and it will post um, the entire calendar for you right here. So obviously it's August and uh, these are the events coming up. So you can uh, obviously flip over to September and on, which has nothing been posted yet. So you'll be uh, fully aware of what's going on online for my members as well as the public uh, uh, as well. All right. So hopefully I'll help you out. And uh, it's one more reason to join the membership. All right. Have a good day. Later.